Welcome to Brygen. Enjoy the video. Hey, you're in a court, not in the woods, Tarzan. Want the juiciest, most flavorful rack of spare ribs you can possibly make? Just have a look at the juices when we cut into one of our racks. Just look at those juices. That's all natural juice that stayed in the ribs after cooking. After years of experimentation, we found this cooking method produces the plumpest ribs and juiciest spare rib flavor. Spare ribs are our favorite. We buy them in a pack of two. Spare ribs are sometimes referred to as St. Louis style ribs. Not only are they less expensive than baby back ribs, but you get more meat for your time and trouble. Set your oven to 200 degrees. Before putting the ribs in the oven, spread a thin layer of your favorite barbecue sauce on the ribs. And then add some salt and pepper on top of the barbecue sauce. This is done to prevent the clumping of the salt and pepper. Put a piece of foil over top of the ribs and seal the edges and roll up the ends. By keeping the temperature at 200 degrees, only the collagen in the meat will melt. And because the temperature is below 212 degrees, liquid in the ribs will not turn into steam. Steamed meat loses flavor and bridgen ribs do not. Put the wrapped ribs into the oven on the middle rack and set your oven timer for three and a half hours. If you cook the ribs longer than this, the ribs will get mushy and lose their flavor. After three and a half hours, take the ribs out of the oven and unwrap them and move the ribs to a new tray. To make the ribs look as scrumptious as they taste, we create a glaze with the barbecue sauce by spreading a thin layer of the sauce over the ribs and put them under the broiler. We repeat this two or three times. When the meat cleaver is pressed in and wiggled back and forth, you can see that the juicy flavor remained in the ribs. At roadside barbecue stands, the ribs are either overcooked or undercooked 8 or 9 times out of 10. They cannot accurately predict their daily consumer traffic and do what they have to to keep the ribs flowing to stay in business and will sell you yesterday overcooked or today's undercooked ribs if needed. When we cook ribs, we make extra and have them vacuum packed in the freezer. They're still better than roadside lottery, even when quickly thawed and heated in the microwave. So when we come across a roadside rib and wing stand, we pass them by and go home to get the best barbecue 10 out of 10 times. Other great things are coming soon to the Brygen channel. Please subscribe and stay in touch. If you cook and try Brygen ribs, I'm sure you'll be back for more. Thanks for watching.